Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. I wanted to uh, bring you a little demonstration of some new towels that I've got. Now, I've entitled this Good Towels, Bad Towels. So let me show you the bad towels first and why they're bad. This is a kitchen towel. Let me look, let you look up close. And it's a bar mop, which is supposed to be really good. But the problem is, it's not very absorbent. And a dish rag, we call them, that you wipe off your counters with and that you uh, wash dishes with if you're washing them in the sink. Same thing, this is bar mop. 100% cotton, right? They come really clean in the wash. You can put Clorox on them. So there's the hand towel and the dish rag and some from a, another period several years ago. This is a dish rag and it's about five years old. It's been washed many, many times. It's got a couple of holes in it and now it's absorbent. This one is not absorbent hardly at all and the towel is even less absorbent. So what to do, what to do? I have bought many, many towels always hoping that the next towels I buy will be absorbent. They do something to the cotton. Maybe some of y'all know what they do to it. And it actually sheds water instead of absorbing it. So I'm always on the lookout for a towel that works. And so far over the last many, many years, I have found none. No matter what the brand, here's another old one. And even you know, this, this was a dish towel, and even though it's old, it's all looking bad on the edge there, it still is not very absorbent. The only one in this group that is, is the one that's at least five years old, maybe older, and been washed many, many times, almost completely worn out, but it works. And I always grab for this one, I don't know, because it's absorbent, that's why. So, I was in Walmart, several weeks ago and um, you know I was there to get groceries and uh, okay I always go look on the aisle that's got all the utensils, kitchen gadgets and all that even though I'm sworn to buy none I still go and after all you have to kind of walk by it to get to the um, groceries right so anyway I saw on the aisle that they had uh, some towels, they called them flower sack towels, in a big box on the floor. And I looked at them and I thought, huh, those look like the old 1950s diapers to me. And they were $4.88 for five. So I thought, well, I'm going to try these. Maybe they're absorbent. And guess what? They are very absorbent. Just what I was looking for. You cannot go wrong with them, okay? if you're looking for something that's very absorbent. They're great for cleaning mirrors, they're great for cleaning car windows, washing the car with them, and you can put Clorox on them, they come out perfectly clean every time. So, anyway, I wanted to uh, talk to y'all about those and also say that these are exactly like the cloth diapers from the 1950s. And uh, I used them uh, for my oldest child, he was born in 1968, but back then you could still buy cloth diapers. And they also had diaper service, and uh, I don't recall that they had, the, like the Pampers, they might have, but I didn't use them to start with, but then I did use them. And of course with the second child, it was nothing but the Pampers. So, uh, but anyway, I wanted to get back to this. Uh, I have a uh, a younger sister who's 10 years younger than me. So I was 10 years old when she was born. And one of my jobs was to fold diapers. And so I became quite good at it because to start with, when a baby's newborn, sometimes there might be as many as 20 diaper changes a day. So uh, my mother washed every day except Sunday. And so my job was to fold the diapers and many times I would have to get them in from the line. She always hung them out. She didn't like the way I hung clothes out. I wasn't as neat as she was. So anyway, I wanted to show y'all uh, how to fold these diapers. Now I'll go ahead and tell you, 
these are only $4.88 for five, so they're really just under a dollar each. They are much cheaper than the Gerber cloth diapers that you can get in the store, but they're not pre-folded for you. So let me move the camera back, hold on, and I want to show you how my mother and my grandmother folded their diapers because this is all they had. So the diaper is 28 by 29 inches. And this one, of course, has been used many times and washed many times now. So you take one third of the diaper and fold it over, smooth it out a bit. Then you go one third again over, and then one third again over there. And there you have it. Now, if it's a newborn, you fold it up even tighter. But for a little girl, you let this part be in the back, and for a little boy, you let this part be in the front. So then you just take the diaper, keeping your fingers under it next to the baby's skin, pull it over, and put a pin in it. Now back then, the pins were, see this is a big safety pin, but the pins had a blue or pink or yellow little top on them, plastic. And you just put it in, holding it, hold, making sure you hold the, your um, fingers next to the baby's skin, because obviously you don't want to stick the baby. Again, putting your fingers under, pull it over, and then the, the, you usually would have the pins facing the front. Some people put them facing the back. But you always want to hold your fingers under there so you don't uh, stick the pin in the baby. So there's the diaper. Here's where their little legs go, yeah, just like that. And when they're newborn, of course, you would pin it even more so. And then if they're super newborn, you have to make allowances for the little umbilical cord. But there's what they look like. I've folded many diapers like this. Now, uh, you can fold them all different kinds of ways, depending on you know, what you're familiar with. But another way is they actually turn it over like that. So you've got even a triple thickness in the middle there. I never did them that way. My mother never did them that way. But anyway, there were the diapers. And what we would do is fold them up in a stack, stack them just like that, just one on top of the other. And that was my job every day, every day, while the babies were little. And uh, so let me pull you all closer now. All right, so then once we had no more babies, then these were used as rags because mother wasn't going to have any more children. So we used them to clean the, the uh, mirrors with, to wash windows, to wash windows in cars, to wash cars, you wash down walls, anything. But they work super, super good as a dish towel or a dish rag. Now, they're a little too big to use as a dish rag, so what I'm planning to do is fold them in half, like that, and then fold them one more time. Let me get it straightened out here. Fold them one more time, and then I've already got my sewing machine packed away, but I'm gonna pull it out. Then sew around the seams, two of the seams, down one side and down the other. I'll probably use my zigzag attachment on the machine, so this would be my dish rag that I would use to wash dishes with. Uh, I mean, I use a dishwasher, but some, you know, you have to wash pots and pans sometimes in the sink. And this is the perfect size. So here it is compared to the size of a regular dish rag, just a little bit bigger when you fold it into fours and then sew around the edges. So, I wanted to share that with y'all because I know y'all have had the same problem I have, most likely, in that you can never find a dish towel or a dish rag that absorbs anything. I mean, I, I have a cooktop, so when I'm wiping off the cooktop and I wipe it off with a dish rag, unless I'm using this one that's five years old, I have to come back with a paper towel and dry it off. But otherwise, it just has smears of where water dried up on it, which looks terrible. But anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all. Now, you can get these at, at Walmart, and of course, you can get them at Super Centers. Now, this time when I went back, 
I bought two more packs, so I've got probably 20 of these. So I'm going to make at least six of them, maybe eight of them, into dish rags. And then uh, the rest of them I'll use as dish towels. They're very absorbent, and you can dry your hands on these. We keep one hanging in the kitchen, really on the refrigerator door, just like that. And they, you can just dry your hands off in two seconds. They're really nice. And they're also great for cleaning your counters and all. Now, there are many, many other uses for them. I can remember uh, car washes used to use something like this. You'd see them, they look just like diapers to me. And in fact, that's what they were. So if you wanted to use these as baby diapers, because believe me, that's what they are. They're baby diapers. Uh, these are $48.88 for five. So they're much, much cheaper than the Gerber baby diapers are. And I'm talking about the kind you would fold up because Gerber sells this kind similar, but I'm very sure there's, they're not any way as, as absorbent as these are, unless they've been washed many, many times. So I don't know what they do to, to cotton now. I have no idea, but I can tell you no cotton is as absorbent now as it used to be. So that's all I have on that. If y'all have information where, where something like this can be purchased, leave the, the description below. Now they need to be cotton probably, it needs to be cotton that was made in some other country because in this country we do something to all the cotton before we make anything with it and it makes it not absorbent. This t-shirt I've got on is 100% cotton. If I would sprinkle water on it, it would eventually absorb, but it would mostly just run off. It would, because it's not very absorbent. So, anyway, I hope y'all will try these. Now, I did talk to, uh, let me see if I remember her, her Crystal, at, uh, uh, in Arkansas, the main office of Walmart, because I wanted to make sure before I did the video that they were available pretty much everywhere, and she told me that they were. She checked, it took 18 minutes, but she found out. And uh, the way they track them is by the barcode and the number. Let me let y'all see that number real good. You know? And uh, she said that they were available at almost every Walmart and Supercenter in the, in the U United States. I don't know about other countries, but certainly in the United States. So y'all will be able to find them now, people, don't know what they are and I can tell they don't know what they are because it looked like only two or three people had bought any from the time I first found them. So uh, if y'all are interested in a cloth that is very absorbent to use as a kitchen towel or if you want to do like what I'm going to do and sew one together on all four corners to make a dish rag and y'all will be seeing these in my videos. So instead of a dish rag that looks like that you'll see laying on in the front of the cooktop where I usually make most of my cooking videos it's going to be one like this yeah and I can't wait I, all of these I probably got I don't know how many of these towels probably 10 or 15 of them they are going in the rag bag and used for something like wiping grease out of a skillet and then they get thrown away because I don't just not like them, I absolutely hate them because they will not absorb anything. Now, the other thing that these are real good for, and I haven't used one for this yet, but they are great for polishing furniture, super good for that. And leaving them as big as they are, yeah, leave them all the way big and they're super for polishing furniture. And I bet y'all can think of some other things they'd be really good for. They do a super job of cleaning mirrors because they, they are virtually lint free. I mean, if you wash them with, with regular like bath towels, they'd probably get lint on them, but um, at least get some. But for the, I mean, these have been washed, oh, I don't know, three or four times at least. And you see there's no lint on them, none at all. In fact, if you hold them up to the light, you can somewhat see through them. Now, they also could be, in fact, they tell you on the side panel, let me just read that, it says, uh, uh, for cleaning, reducing streaks or smudges, wet or dry dusting, 
and culinary uses, straining, cheese making, and pastry making. So I guess use it like sort of like cheesecloth. Now it's a lot thicker than cheesecloth, of course, but I can see that that would work. And for crafting projects, stamping, embroidering, and applique. So there are a lot more uses than that, y'all. A lot, lot more. Yeah, so there it is again. Look for them on the aisle that sells kitchen towels and pot holders and, and tablecloths in Walmart. That's where you'll find them. And Crystal has assured me that they're in almost every super center and every Walmart in the United States, for sure. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. I hope you will uh, go get you some of these. And if you're a mother-to-be or even a mother that wants to go with cloth diapers, that's what this is. It's a cloth diaper, y'all. And uh, you can fold them, and if you like diapers that are already sewn up, you can fold them however you want to and just sew them yourself because they're probably half the price of regular cloth diapers for sure. All right, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.